Good morning. This has been a little while. Is my cum? Yeah, I think cum is okay. Apologies for foregone's. Uh, got meetings on, so we'll be probably hear them in the background. Yes. So it's been a little while since done a live. Live oh, I thought I would try attempt to start doing uh, some lives when I've uh, when I've got a haul, maybe a live haul. Try and continue with the uh, bit of footage when I'm picking stuff up when I'm sourcing. Uh, I find that quite interesting. I think people find that interesting. Um, but yes, maybe the odd live speckled in. Uh, oh, and maybe even like pushing it. Uh, what's going out? That might happen Monday morning. And there's some people in. Oh, so, so good. The, the teas in the morning. Um, good morning, Joan. Oh, good morning, lovely. Good morning, Rosie. Good morning, Queenie. Got my top on, Queenie. Um, hey, Crispy. Hi, Rebecca. Yeah, so, been a little while, hasn't it? And it's been a little while since I've been back on the bay. Uh, yeah, about six weeks. What I've learned, not a lot, so what, that won't take long, but I've got some bits that I have been listing on the bay this week, which I thought I'd show you afterwards. Show you what I'm putting on at the moment. I mean, it's I mean, jewellery ofs, but uh, also some homework. So, yeah, six weeks back on the bay, and I'm only on, let's have a looky, listing-wise, I mean, I have sold some stuff, um, but I am quite aware that it's going to take some building up. Yeah, I'm currently on 564 listings, two of which are auctions, which I've got, oh, round and about here, actually. Uh so, new strategy. Morning, Mandy. You've been busy listing, haven't you? Listing all your stuff from your... Were you on holiday and you were just thrifting as you went, or were you on a thrifting uh, tour of the country? I always thrift wherever I go, as you know. Yeah, the, um, the, the blanket that I think I might have shown you there... That's on auction. That ends Sunday, and it's literally on. I did a couple of ninety-nine p starts. It was literally on two pound twenty plus shipping. It's a wool like Whitney. Uh, it's got five watches, so hopefully that'll go up a little bit. And my my Arga kettle, which has been a really nice. Can't see what I can see. Um, sort of kitchen ornament. I'd, yeah, stovetop, Arga. I, I love picking stuff up like this. Is this part of, yeah, this is part of what I've learned, I suppose. I love picking up stuff like this, but I've realised I start to go off stuff. The lo oh, Fs. Bear with me, that might be six crates of wine, so I need to uh, check if it is. <laughs> Same old, hang on. Okay. Lovely. Thanks. Lovely hubbly. Yeah, six boxes of wine arriving. He was going to put it straight in the garage, but I thought I'd just put it on the doorstep. Uh, no one's going to run off. It's quite heavy to run off. It's, yes, the camera is not quite right, is it, for my slumpiness? It's that bit, but that's a bit better, isn't it? Um, good morning, Mel. Mandy, thrift wherever I land, can't stop. Like, it's just too interesting, isn't it? So I've got a bit of a thing for messing up. I've been scratching Ooh, there as well, it looks like. Um. <laughs> la, 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 la. Yes, yeah, so, oh, yeah, the Argus on, which I also put on a 99p start. If I can get stuff either cheap enough, this is going to be my new strategy, either cheap enough 
or I know it's popular enough to start it on a 99p start to attract some watchers and some interest and get it to end on a Sunday evening. I'm going to indulge in the homeware because if it's only here for like a little bit, I'm not going to get, it's not going to get under my skin and I end up just getting rid of it. So that is the new strategy. If I can get it, yeah, if I can get it cheaper for, cheap enough where I know it's popular enough, I can start it on 99p and then I know it's definitely going to go. So I know the blanket will go. And which, I mean, again, it's a lot of this stuff I just buy thinking that will happen and then ends up on the bow. Uh, so the kettle at the moment is on 750 plus shipping and it's got 22 watches. So that ends on Sunday night. So fingers crossed for that. Oh. Uh, yeah, so what I have learned six weeks back on the bay, probably, I don't know if it's an obvious one or not, but I feel, and this has been banded around, I feel you need a bit of a bigger shop. I started off with a basic shop and like within the month I went up to, what's the middle one called? I went up to the middle one. Um, and I do think if you want a regular bit of income from it. I know like if you're if you're picking up a maze, you just know, oh, that's just gonna sell all the time, then you can get your regular income that way. But if you've got stuff that might take a while, you know, for the right person to come along, the bigger the shop, the better. So I'm on 500 odd and I'm not going to, I mean, I wanted to get it up so that it was worth having the middle shop, which is about 600 listings, I think, becomes worth having that shop. But um, I'm not I'm not going to push myself. I'm not going to work too hard. I, 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 as long as I do about 10 listings a day after this, that'll be fine. Um, I, I mean, I've got, I've gone swimming in a bit. I've got wine coming. I've, you know, I've got, I've got work-life balance. Um, I'm going to have some toast. <laughs> Uh, oh, featured. That's right. Thanks, Mel. Crispy. I've been doing a few auctions recently. Got a sewing machine on auction with 50, 54 watches. That's mental. What are you expecting off of that then? And did you get it cheap? Or did you just know it was popular enough that it's worth auctioning? Or <laughs> do you want to just come on and answer all these questions? Um, or did you have you done that thing where you start to offer a price you'd be happy with? I know that as a strategy that works on some things for people like, oh, I want 20 quid, so I'm going to start it at 20 quid. Um, but I'm a bit of a gambler and I quite like starting at 99p and seeing where it goes. Uh, morning, Karis. So, yes, that's what I'm about at the moment. So I'm enjoying, I mean, the boots are on. So I, I love getting stuck into those rummage pots. I like to know what's under there. So... It's all good for me to be, if I can get it cheap enough, then it's all right, isn't it? I can, I can indulge myself, pick something up that maybe I wouldn't from the chaser. And if it's cheap, then I can start it off on a, a 99p start option. Um, yes, so what else have I learned? Oh, some figures, if for some of you might be interested. So last 31 days, so I've only just got up to 500 odd listings. My last 31 days turnover on the bay is a grand, literally like just just a what literally 1066. Um given that I allow about it's tricky. If I sell a brooch for 10 quid, two pounds goes to eBay. So like 20% because you've got the 30p um final value one-off fee which is just for no reason whatsoever. I'm already paying for a shop and I'm paying for a final value fee, but that's in there. So if it's like a tenner, I know I'm paying 20%. If I get you know, 30 quid or over, it starts to come down a bit because um, it's a mathematical thing, because it does. Um, so I allow 20% to be going to eBay and I'm not promoting at the moment either, which I'm loving because I got really caught up. You can get caught up in promotions. Once you start, you're worried that if you stop, your all your sales will disappear. Well, I haven't promoted yet and I'm hoping to keep it that way so I don't have that dilemma. So I'm kind of thinking on a thousand, so what with fees to eBay, uh, 
I'm generally free post, so the postage costs and whatever I've shelled out, one or two quid on a brooch or something, I'm kind of thinking, yeah, two to e from a tenner, two to eBay, so it's two on the brooch, pound post, fiver, 50%, and then 50% is profit. So that's very rough, but if I'm thinking, well, it's a grand turnover in the last month, it's about 500 quid back. Uh, so I kind of want to double that, really. Um, and I guess I want to double my listing, so hopefully that's going to work out. Joan, all mine on auction starting at price I want. A minimum offers £1 cheaper. Yeah, and is that quite successful for you? Because I know that you don't get your fingers burnt that way. Um, so if, if I'm gambling with a 99p start, I've got to make sure that I don't mind if it, well, yeah, I suppose I would mind if Miaga, Miaga Kettle went for 99p, but I kind of was confident that it wouldn't. With the blanket, which I got cheap, I don't mind. I, I'm like, I don't want to be hanging on to it till winter. And if it does go cheap, well, fine. It, I, you know, I'm just enjoying having it on the, you know, the arm of my sofa at the moment. But I realised as soon as I got it home, what, what am I doing? Because I can't have wool next to my skin. This is ridiculous. Um, so I'm just happy to have had it for a little while. It's indulging myself a little bit, I suppose. Um, let's have a slab for my tea. Melly, Melly, Mel. I just find eBay's either really good or really bad. And I th yeah, it's like the little girl. I had a little curl right in the middle of her forehead. My nun used to say this to me. And when she was good, she was very, very good. And when she was bad, she was horrid. Yeah, it's just like that. I'll have a £175 wig and a £600 wig. Wow. Madness. I just roll with it now. Yeah. I'd like to say I could roll with it, but um, obviously I'm obsessed. Uh, Whatever I do, I get obsessed by, and I'm not happy rolling around. I just will become obsessed until the sales come back. Um, oh, yes, by the way, has anybody ever lost their cha-ching? I didn't have eBay on this phone. It's a Samsung, and I've never had the freaking cha-chingy on it. And I've tried, you know, I don't know why this helps you to see that, but I've got a Samsung. And I've never had the cha-ching on this. Um, I've tried, you know, getting rid of the app, putting it back on. I've got everything switched on, like alerts and that. I don't get any noises from the eBay app, which is obviously, like, I want to hear that bell and I'm not. So that's annoying. Has anybody ever had that? How did you fix it? I've been through, you know, in the settings, you know, switching everything on. I've been in the eBay, switching everything on. Um, hi, Jill. Oh, no, that was. Uh, yeah, so have, have I learned anything else from being on back on the bay for six weeks? It's, I think it's partly reminding myself because when I started listing again when, and I was picking up more than jewellery, it's like, oh, my God, do I have to go through this all again? I picked up clothes. I picked up – I was trying to pick up paperweights. I've been picking up wicker brass all right am i gonna go through all this again like learning what i like and what i don't well yes apparently i am but i might learn a bit quicker this time and i have learned oh, i hate selling clothes i hate it so i've got to remember i buy quite i get quite a lot of stuff for us in the family and if i'm buying it for us that's fine but don't pick it up to resell because i just don't enjoy it did the orvis did go jacket just went 40 quid because I wanted just wanted it to go it was quite big compared to all my jewelry um so that went that's on the doorstep oh, it's on the, yeah it's on the doorstep now um but I've got to steer away I don't like doing that and I do really like doing a bit of the homewares so I if I can pick it up cheap enough then I will do a bit of the homewares too um Joan I lost mine and went on YouTube and showed me how to, I went on YouTube and I read that and I did all the, the clicky across buttons and it hasn't worked and Tom's tried as well. Crispy, I have the ka on my Samsung but not on my iPhone. That's so weird, isn't it? Because I had an iPhone for this and it cha-chinged on that. What the frick is going on? Um, Linden Grove vlog, yes, I know. It's a bit uh, bizarre, isn't it, me being live? I did do a schedule for about 15 minutes before to try and, assume you get a notification of that. 
Yeah, you do, don't you? Um, Joel, my chi ching has disappeared a few times, but it worked again when I uninstalled the app. Yeah, I've done that, put uninstall and put it on again. Um, Mandy, I love your willingness to learn. You will never go stale. <laughs> but uh, I get bored, you see. Oh, my God. Soft toys. <laughs> I'm back in the freaking soft toy troughs as well. Stop it. I can't go. That's cute. Um, I put. So no, there's no, she's not going to be resold because she's just. There's no value in her. But I, I got her. <laughs> Chicken run. As she's been through the machine, she smells nice now. I'm like, but she was like, oh, I don't know, fifty pills. And I was like, oh. yeah. It's like, oh, she's got hair stuck to her. But I've got to stop this. Soft type. So I mean, I know which ones sell, but. Crying out loud, crying out loud. Uh, morning, Kirsten. Um, yeah, don't want to go stale, do you, Mandy? Don't want to go stale. Um, so, I, yeah, I'm going to show you a few of the bits and bobs. I'll show you some non jewelry bits and bobs that I've been listing this week. Um, have been enjoying doing some non jewelry. I, I, need, I need a variety of spice of life. Uh, yeah, I got, did I get any of this? Oh, yeah, I did. I popped um, popped to a midweek car boot. It was very small. Uh, oh, who did I meet there? Is it Sarah? Hello, Sarah, if if you're watching. So, <clears throat> another little kettle. I'm going to drop it there. Usually this handle is broken, but this one isn't broken. It did have a little trivet. There was a trivet thing in the box that I was fluffing around in and now I know that it, I should have got that to go with this and it was only a pound this was and have I got I haven't got this on 99p start yet I thought what I would do is list some of this but it, I mean it's kitchen ornament again isn't it oh god I love a kitchen ornament I think I've put it on let's have a look so I've put it on and the idea is that I might put stuff on and then if I'm happy to look at it for a bit longer, I'll leave it on. And then if I'm not, then it will go on the 99p star auction on Sunday. Um, and given that I paid plus shipping a squid, I, I can cope with that. Um, where are you, little kettle? Oh, 20 quid, which is too much, to be honest. I kind of been pricing stuff to uh, with in mind that I'm going to send out an offer and most of my brooches and this is something special will go on at like 10 or 12 and then i'll send out an offer of a pound or two less so i put that on oh i also got these um after stall was saying to that he would have picked up the little brass it might have even been the same seller because i do recognize him but from my other boot uh but he only had two and i did pair fiver for the pair so again i think i've put them on it oh, it might be 25 actually something like that but also get i'm quite happy to look at these for a little bit they're quite kitchen cute so i will leave them on for a bit when things start to get under my skin they're going on 99p auction so i've got the flying geese <coughs> excuse me um <coughs> oh my god morning sir just joined by doing your emails, lovely. Um, Crispy, I've been picking up loads of stuff the past few weeks at Jumble Trails, a lot of it. Can you let me know when there's a Jumble Trail? No, me next time, Chris. A um, lot of it I sold to Catherine. <laughs> um, oh, I have one of those with that handle with the trivet. Oh, yeah, I didn't realise it. The trivet was in the pot as well, but I was... I don't think they're... I, I think it's one of the things that looks like it should be worth more than it actually is it's not worth that much so um but it's very pretty kitchen kitchen alia uh i put on this morning i think i showed you these <clears throat> from the special place a pair of candlesticks i love picking up candlesticks they're quite weighty and i have i think i've said barley twist i don't yeah, I suppose you can have a single, that would be a barley twist, wouldn't it? 
and the and, the, and I've put these on £15 free shipping, so that's pretty reasonable for me. But then I think that's, you know, I think that's their worth. And I'm enjoying looking at these on the uh, on the shelf at the moment. So they will stay there until I get bored, and then I'll sort them off on 99p probably. I probably ought to, yeah, maybe think about that. But I kind of think 99p attracts some watchers. Uh, Mandy, just doing a stock take. And oh, I've never done a stock take. Finally, finding stuff from 2015. Whoa, I'm still AF. 2015, oh my God. Oh my God, that's a long time. Um, Jewel, it has a few watches at 20 pounds plus. Good. Oh, I should have got the trivet, shouldn't I? That's possibly, oh, well done. That's That's good then. That's nice to know. Chris, you missed a jumble trail and pearly. I know, Chris, because you said, oh, Spansman and the pearly jumble trail. We did tell me, did you? I don't read things. You, can you let me know <laughs> next time? Um, right, have I got any other? Uh, I've been listing mugs this week, but most of them have gone already. I mean, they've been Emma Bridgewater and, whoa, those Emma Bridgewater fans, they've been going out the door. And... I don't know what else I've listed that's non-jewelry. I will show you a little bit of jewellery. How are we doing on time? Oh, yeah, that's all right. I'll max another 10 minutes because I need toast before I go swimming. Um, yes, I've been really enjoying, I think I might have shown you some of these, listing these cuffs. It's gorgeous, this brass one. This is on at 15 and that's got a wooden middle. I think it's a bit, it's a bit, um, it's a bit too, big for me but that's that's got to be worn with a lager nut dress isn't it <coughs> this is one i might have shown you which is a new is from malta and it's it says moda made in malta and i've just sold was that a moda I've just packaged up a necklace this morning i think it was moda i'll just check because it was a pendant necklace and it was all modernist and um I was quite surprised it went for 30 pounds. I mean, obviously I put it on for 30 pounds, but it sold quite quick. Did I put that on yesterday? Yeah, Moda. So it's like handmade in Malta and it's obviously got a following. I may have put it on my Insta. Um, yeah, so, but this I've only put on for 15. I, I think the pendants are maybe more desirable. Hey, my Mind Body Calm Yoga, hello. Did I enjoy my holidays? I did, thank you. Yes, it's lovely. We had half a week in Weymouth and half a week camping. It's very nice. Uh, camping with friends, Weymouth, just going around Premier Inns and going on the beach and going to Chaz's. <clears throat> Thanks, Chris. Yeah. Uh, what are the... So this is another Moda. Is this a Moda? Copper? No, that's not a Moda, but it looks like... It looks very mid-century like a Moda, actually. A copper one but this one was a bit of a surprise i mean it's lush obviously i think this is malachite but i, I thought oh it's got something stamping that i lit that up and it is it's a chilean a designer from chile called marita gill Did it be jill or gill gill i think um so it's handmade and it's like locally sourced products things that she makes it with um and her stuff goes for good money so i've stuck that on at something like 50 quid or something um see how that goes because sometimes you need to be like on etsy or something to be able to get that kind of money but i mean i thought oh it's very nice but then when i looked it up i was like whoa okay um oh wrong <laughs> indie one can sorry i did know it was you <laughs> um yeah cups um yeah, I can't, I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm interested to see whether some of the stuff that I list sells because I'm a bit drawn to cute stuff. I've put this, I put two little wooden pendants on today, but it's got a ladybird on it and it's really, it's all lacquered. And I put it on for 12, I think. But if I get a watcher, they'll get an offer of 10, which I'm fine with, I'm fine with that. Um, just want to keep stuff going out the door. But it's just, I just think that's so cute. So cute. 
Um, a few more cuties in here. A couple I put on brooches. Well, can you call that a brooch? It's pan pipes, but it's literally with a little pin. So it's probably like just a locally made in Peru. This I love, this little Thai dancer, traditional dress dancer. Yeah, everything. I put all these on at like 10 or 12 pounds and then I send offers out as well to watches. I love ladybugs. Ladybugs? I'm not American. Ladybirds. Um, no offence to the Americans. I also love the flamenco dancers, but Damascene. Very nice. Oh, and this, oh, two more, I'll show you. A little nurse. I think I put one for a tenner. I don't, it's some kind of clay, I think, modelling clay or something. I thought she's cute. And I think I showed you this a long time ago and I wasn't going to sell it and because it was a, someone said it was a marlin. I said it was a swordfish. That's 10 or 12 as well. They all are. I'll put those on. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, what am I doing? Yeah, this is going to be under half now, which is all good, isn't it? And then I just put some, I've got a little pewter in here that I've got on. Loads of St. Justin pewter, but like that interesting bit. I put on a load of uh, art, Lakeland art metal brooch, I think, uh, the tenor, I think they're on it. Those are quite nice, modernist. Although I've got rid of a jean jacket, I think I need to get another one so I can start wearing brooches. Uh, I'll get one on a trouser, I expect. Yeah, those are nice and shiny. Oh, this one was really nice because it's um, this. Oh, it says pendant because she's like a fairy tale. I don't know. She looks quite mermaid there, actually. I think I put fairy, I might put goddess. Yeah. So there, I think that that would do. Did I learn anything else? <clears throat> how is everybody else? And how have your sales been? Um, yeah, long time. I, I get all your lovely comments, um, but long time since I've had a little interaction like this. Um, yes. I learned probably two things in the last six weeks from being back on the bay. But it's not rubbing me up the wrong way too much yet. I haven't had any really not well, I had one annoying. <laughs> but then collectors are collectors, aren't they? The Emma the Emma Bridgewater. Um Yeah, so a few mugs have gone out this week and one was uh I can't remember the just oh, it was the chickens. And it's lady contacted me, are there any is it any crazing chips, cracks? Like, uh, nothing I can see. You know, I've mentioned if it had anything like that. Next message is, oh, what's this? And she had zoomed in on the mug and circled two things with a red pen. Well, red, you know. It's like, oh. So I went and got it, and I, I had to really struggle to see what she was talking about. And I sort of rubbed my finger on it, but it's smooth. So it's somehow under the glaze. It's not crazing. It's like, I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but it is smooth. It's it's like Blair and Henry. Like, well, if you, I mean, my mind. If you think, oh, well, that's something that I don't like. Don't buy it. Don't find another one. You don't have to message me with your red rings. But there you go. Um, yeah, not too. Uh, not been. I haven't. Nothing too awful. I haven't had any uh, yet. You know. Oh, it hasn't turned up. Oh, okay. I'll just get the tracking. Or uh, Indy, eight pounds in the last two days. Oh, had a good few weeks, though, so I can't complain. Yeah, I did wonder about you this morning when I was brushing my teeth for some reason. Oh, I know, because I was on one leg, so I was thinking about you and yoga. Um, and I wondered if you were back doing boots and that, because you haven't been on the Insta. I wonder what you were picking up. Are you, still, are you doing curtains? Jewel, mine were good, but trickling the last two days. See, I had a stomping day yesterday. But it's just like that, isn't it? It's just the, the eBay spotlight. You sort of, it's like, it's on you and it goes wild and then tumbleweeds. Um, yeah, I don't even know. People talk about consistent listing. They talk about drip feeding. None of us know. None of us know. Um, but it's been quite nice to put stuff on non jewelry and it actually sells. So that will keep me going on that. Although, Bear in mind, <clears throat> I 
So <coughs> it is not all roses because I have also <laughs> taken two bootloads of stuff. <coughs> Excuse me, down to my friend who distributes all of my bad bites to anybody who wants it. Um, yeah, this week, two bootloads. I mean, some of it was our stuff from the house, but a lot of it was stuff that I've got. Oh, oh, I got this out of a rummage pot. And, oh, that was a mistake. Uh, and she's like, I said, can you please stop me? Could you tell me stop buying all this stuff? And she's like, no way, because <laughs> she gets all. Indy, yes, still curtains, bedding, and hubby with his usual stuff. Oh, his um, lasers and electricals. Hey, live, love, love, life. Hello, Karen. Um, just noticed live has taken place. Yeah, I'm just going actually, but uh, just imparting my, I think, in probably one and a half pearls of wisdom of what I've learned in the last six weeks. To be honest, it's stuff I already learned a while back and had to relearn when I went back to eBay. Yes. So, yeah, I might, I might even do a, what's going out on Monday. Give me a comment down below or in the chat to say, yeah, I'd like a what's going out or, or um, <laughs> let me know and watch back. Cool. Um, yes. Good luck tomorrow with all your viewings. Exciting. I'm going to go and get some, what time is it? Ten, oh yeah, I've just got time for toast before I go swimming. Have a lovely day Friday. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye, don't die. Thank you for joining me as well. So I have it. Right, how do I get? Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready.